everyone, this is Tom Hudson with Urban Code. Today I want to talk about Urban Code Velocity deployment plans. I start from the Urban Code Velocity release page where I can schedule releases and create new ones. Uh, releases are, among other things, containers for deployment plans. A release can be uh, anything from a one-off ad hoc release for something like, say, a patch to a high ceremony effort involving a lot of people following a, a rigorous schedule. You create a release, you have the option of applying a tag to it. Tags are ways to organize and coordinate releases. Another important option is deployment plan templates. If you spend a lot of time creating deployment plans, you want to reuse them, you can select them here. For the demo today, we're not going to select a template. We're going to uh, walk through just the basics of um, setting up your own deployment plan. Finally, let's schedule the release. You can um, type the um, release date in. Uh, or you can select from the calendar. Let's select uh, October 31st, Halloween, because why not? This detail page, notice that a deployment plan is created for us. If you don't select a template when you create a release, a default empty deployment plan is created um, that inherits the release name, schedule, and team. A release can contain any number of deployment plans. You can copy a plan or create a template from a plan and use that for future plans. Remember, you can copy the, a release that has all the plans already created for you and ready to go. A deployment plan defines the steps, called task, that must be performed to complete a deployment. Tasks are the core feature of deployment plans. When you run a deployment, your team performs task until your deployment is complete. Our deployment plan is empty, it doesn't have any tasks. Let's, let's create some tasks. Velocity provides a variety of tasks, including urban code deploy, ServiceNow, email tasks. For the demo, we're going to use the simplest task type, manual task. Tasks have durations that provide an estimate of how long the deployment will take to complete. When you run a deployment and close tasks, the status is constantly updated. You can attach tags to tasks, which help you organize your deployment. I'll talk about tags later on in this demo. Finally, you can assign a task to a team member or group. When you select a task, the task actions become available. Uh, the first thing I want to do is copy some tasks. To do so, I select the task, select the copy action, place the cursor where you want to insert the task, and press paste. Quickly create some more tasks. I copy both tasks and paste them into the deployment plan. By default, tasks are performed sequentially, starting with the first task in the plan. After the first task is completed, the second task becomes eligible to run. Task eligibility is referred to as the plan's execution pattern. You can group tasks together and run the group in parallel. This means you have complete control over the plan manual plan's execution pattern. A deployment will start automatically at its scheduled start time if any of its eligible tasks are auto-type tasks, such as urban code deploy. Otherwise, you start a deployment by manually running a task. For clarity, I've renamed the task in our plan. We can see that the execution pattern for our deployment is sequential. The first task is eligible to run. We can tell that because the Start Task button is available. You can start the deployment now by starting the first task, Manual Task 1. After Manual Task 1 completes, we can start Manual Task 2, and so on. To illustrate how to change the execution pattern, I select the last three tasks and use the Parallel Group action to create a parallel group. The group becomes eligible, tasks can be run in any order and they can run simultaneously. If all the tasks in a group were auto-type tasks, they would all start simultaneously when the group became eligible. You can embed um, sequential groups within parallel groups and you can also um, make tasks dependent on one another to override the simple sequential or parallel patterns. When I move, like, move the first task after the parallel group, notice that all the tasks in the parallel group become eligible to run. 
if I was starting deployment, now I could select uh, any of those tasks to run and I don't have to wait for um, any of them to complete before I start another one. Also, manual task number one is now ineligible and will not be able to start until all the tasks in the parallel group are completed. For the final part of the demo, I have moved manual task one back to the top of the deployment plan. Manual task one, once again, is the only task eligible to run. Using the Manage Tags button, I create a tag and apply it to Manual Task 1. Tags are another tool that you can use to manage the execution pattern or extend processing control. With the Versions tab, if I deselect a tag, tasks with the tag become non-applicable for the deployment, as you can see here. Non-applicable tasks cannot become eligible to run, and so the tasks in the parallel group are eligible to run. To complete the demo, I've reselected the tag, which makes manual task 1 eligible to run, and I start the deployment by using the Start Task button. Manual tasks like this one can represent anything associated with a deployment, um, such as taking a server offline. We estimated a duration of two minutes for this task, but I'm going to go ahead and use the complete task button to complete this task. And you can see now that the parallel group has become eligible and I can start these tasks in any order and run them all simultaneously. When all the tasks are completed, the deployment has a status of done.